Jessica Sutta of the former Pussycat Dolls. IA Live's exclusive interview with Jessica Sutta was brought to you by Ocean Manor Resort Hotel. And I'm here with Jessica Sutta and her little princess, Starlet Sutta. Hello, Jessica and Starlet. How are you doing today? We're very good, thank you. <laughs> very excited to be here with them. Can you tell us a, bit, a little bit about your transition from being with the Pussycat Dolls for seven years and now being on your own? Wow. Well, you know, it has definitely been a journey. The Pussycat Dolls was the most amazing experience of my life and um, it allowed me to really explore myself as an artist. And now that I'm branching off and doing my own thing, it's unbelievable to be able to express my th myself through my music. And I've um, been in the studio working on my album. Hopefully it'll be out this summer. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a journey. And, and now the new chapter is starting, so it's very exciting. You performed yesterday at the Dolphins game and you're back here in Miami where you grew up. So you performed for all your fans. It was amazing. Just coming back to Miami is so incredible you know it hasn't changed a bit the essence of like the beauty and the love of the city I just it lives inside of me so when I come home I just feel great and then to be able to perform my new songs in front of like Miami fans is really cool you're also a dancer with a history in dancing so did you have dancers with you or is it hard to teach people how to dance? Like, could you teach anyone? I think with practice you can do anything, but um, my best friend Danilo danced with me, and then my friend Everth, who I went to school with as well. So everyone was here for home, home for Christmas, so I got to get everyone on stage with me. It was nice. You're writing your own music now, as opposed to before, and I, I know you like to write a lot, so is that something new and exciting for you? What, what steps do you take to writing a song? Like, How does it come together? It is new to me, and um, it's been unbelievable. I was in the studio for the past couple months, especially in Stockholm, working with a, a, a writing team they're called The Kennel, and it was such like therapy for me. I got to express myself as a human being and as a woman, and the transition of my life from the Pussycat Dolls till now, and then, you know, loves that went wrong. You know, I get to express myself in my music through that, which is really cool writing, and you know, eventually I like to write for other people as well. So what are some things that we can expect in songs that you'll be writing soon as far as what's going on in your life? Any songs about Starlet? <laughs> yeah, there's a whole thing about Star. <laughs> it's called She's the Bitch. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, you're just going to really see who I am in my music and how I, I see life, you know. And my music, I want it to be fun and I want it to be able to be an escape for people. When they put it in their car, they put it in their ears and they just can go to a different world for a little bit because that's what music does for me. Now, you also, you've done acting, a movie, Bully, which is actually filmed here in Fort Lauderdale. Um, it's kind of nice balance to do dancing, singing, acting. Which one do you prefer? Which one kind of gets you more nervous? You know what? I'm an artist and an entertainer. That's that's the, the number one thing for me ever since I was three years old. That's all I ever wanted to do. Um, singing has definitely become my favorite because I see the improvement in it and you can get better and better with practice and I love to sing. It's such a release for me. Any New Year's resolutions? that? Yeah, there's a lot of New Year's resolutions. I think it's not be so hard on myself. I'm very hard on myself and um, just have fun and just enjoy life and enjoy this journey you know it's, it's a brand new chapter in my life and I'm really looking forward to it and I'm excited to share my music with the world. I Live's exclusive interview with Jessica Sutta was brought to you by Ocean Manor Resort Hotel. This is Carla and I'm still here with Jessica Sutta at the beautiful Ocean Manor in Fort Lauderdale. And I just wanted to ask you, you have so many fans that support you, but they don't realize like what it takes to get to your level. Can you tell us a little bit about the journey that you've come through? It has definitely been a journey. Um, you know what? What I've learned in this business is that you can't give up and you have to be, you know, working at your craft every single day, no matter what, because there's always going to be someone that's better and younger out there, you know, so you kind of just have to make sure that you're resilient and you really work hard. Um, my journey with becoming a Pussycat doll, it was insane. My mom called me Pussycat my whole life and um, I started in the industry in Miami when I was about 14 years old and uh, I started doing commercials and music videos and then I did some films out here and then I did a soap opera called Ocean Avenue. Megan Fox played my sister, really crazy, yeah. 
So that allowed me to save all the money I, I could to move out to Los Angeles. And I did it by myself, and I didn't, I didn't know anybody. I knew one person we hadn't talked in years, though. So it was, really, it was really scary, but I knew in my heart that this is what I wanted to do with my life. And um, gosh, you know, when you make that sacrifice and you leave your family, you know, and then you, you, you achieve your dream, it's, it's, it's beyond words. You were also a heat dancer and captain of the heat dancer team, right? Yes. And that I know, I'm sure that helped you. You also attended New World School of the Arts. Mm -hmm. So how did those things like give you a balance and give you a feel? Were you sad to leave Miami and leave the heat and all that behind? You know what, I'll start with dance. Dance taught me discipline. And if you want to be successful, you have to have discipline. Um, yeah, the Miami Heat taught me how to play in front of large audiences and, and um, really get the crowd going. That really helped me for the Pussycat Dolls, to be honest. Yeah, uh, although I don't throw t-shirts at the audience. This <laughs> so now you live in LA, are you a Heat or a Lakers fan? So. I'm a Heat fan, baby. Of course. <laughs> Okay, so you have a few songs coming out. Your I Wanna Be Bad uh, music video that got released recently. So what's the meaning behind that song? Why do you wanna be bad? <laughs> well, I believe in my music when I'm on stage, especially at my alter ego comes out. Me, Jessica Normal, I'm a pretty normal girl. You know, I'm down to earth, that's, that's my thing. When I get on stage, it's like, forget it, I'm a whole different person. So I guess it was just kind of me like saying I want to be bad and explore like that sexuality and the sensuality of it all. And um, I was, you know, going through a lot at the time when I wrote the song, so yeah, I just wanted to be bad. I wanted, you wanted to rebel. Yeah, I wanted to rebel, yeah. And if you look closely in the video, there's a lot of um, little hidden messages in there, so you have to watch it again. I did read that they considered you the classiest one out of all the Pussycat Dolls, and you said that when you got on stage, you weren't classy at all. So, well, I think that <laughs> I am classy, and I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I mean, I like to be, you know, fun and, and different on stage, but I think I still keep the class in there. That's important. It is important. And a few of your other songs, I know you have a favorite. One of my favorites is Jack in the Box. Uh, I'm really excited. I don't know if it's going to be the first single or not. And then Good Boy is talking about, um, which I wrote, which I'm really happy about. Um, I was just talking about how, you know, you think you're such a good boy. Well, why don't you put your halo and tie it around my waist? So it's really sexy and fun and, you know good time. Artists normally have somebody that inspired them when they were little. Who inspired you? Who continues to inspire you today? Well, Madonna. Hands down, Madonna. Paula Abdul was my favorite. Debbie Gibson. And, of course, Gaga. I think Gaga. I've known Gaga for a long time before she was really famous, so to watch it all happen and see that her artists can just come out and play, that's so inspirational. And you really like dance music, so I'm sure you jam out to dance music in your house, in your car. What particular songs are your favorites? Um, well, the, certain, the, the DJs that I love the most, like Afrojack, Take Over Control, the Eva song is amazing. If you guys haven't heard that yet, go get it. Um, gosh, uh, David Guetta. Uh, I love Paul Van Dyke. I did a song with Paul a couple of years ago called um, White Lies. So I love dance music, though. Now, you're doing a collaboration with um, Cedric Hervais, yeah, I believe. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. And how's that working? And how, do you know him from a long time ago? How is he? I know he does a lot of dance music, and you really like dance music. Yeah. So I'm sure you guys get along great. We get along really great. He's based in Miami. So we like met through mutual friends, and he's like, I want you to be on this track. So I came down after my birthday and recorded with him. It's a really cool track. I think that's going to be released in, the, in March, and we're going to do a video for it. For the next girl that wants to be a pussycat doll or just break into this business, what tips would you give them to make their life a little bit easier and get ahead? Well, I always say keep it classy, for sure. Um, and the thing about it is that when you're an artist, you get to explore who you are. So be who you are and embrace it. It doesn't matter if you have the best voice or the best dancer. It has to do with what you offer this industry and this world. And just don't give up. And work on your craft every single day, no matter what. Find a place. I sing in the shower. I love the acoustics in my bathroom. Like, it's really great. So You travel a lot. You're on tour. How do you stay, you know, do you eat healthy? How do you stay beautiful and fresh and keep starlit looking? groomed and perfect? Any tricks or tips? Um, you know, I think one of the biggest tips is laughter. Surround yourself with people that you just love and you laugh. Because laugh for me, and for, I have to laugh all the time. You can't take life too seriously because it's so short and you just have to enjoy every single day because you just don't know when it's going to be gone. You know what I mean? And um, I think eat healthy, but if, you're, if you want something sweet, eat in small portions. That's how I eat. If I want like a Snickers, I get the, the snack size one. McDonald's, I get a Happy Meal. So you don't hold yourself back? No, 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 no. no. You got to live your life. Live your life. <laughs> Even if that means a pound of ice cream. Live your life. IA Live's exclusive interview with Jessica Seta was brought to you by Ocean Manor Resort Hotel.
We're still here at Ocean Manor getting ready to wrap up our interview before Jessica goes off into her photo shoot and I'm sure has a bunch of wardrobe changes so and you're excited. I am excited. I, I don't normally do my hair like this and the makeup is really cool so I looked in the mirror I was like whoa. I didn't know who I was for a minute. I like that. My, my alter ego is out to play. Keeping it classy though. So I'll be checking you out and watching you in your photo shoot. Cool. Anything you want to tell your fans? Oh, I love you so much. Thank you so much for all the support. I promise that you are going to love my music because I loved making it for you. And follow me on Twitter. I am Jessica Sutta. What's up, everyone? It's your hometown girl, Jessica Sutta, and you're watching iLive TV. <laughs> Check out the new single and the hot new video, I Wanna Be Bad by Jessica Sutta. IA Live, we put you out there.